Hi everyone, welcome to Salisbury and Devices. This is Old Serum in Wiltshire and this is just outside Salisbury and is the original site for the cathedral that now stands in the middle of Salisbury. I'll show you that later. There was also an Iron Age fort built here by William the Conqueror and you can see all the ruins of both of these buildings as you walk around. I have turned the sound of the wind down because as you can hear it was very very windy up there. So this is some views of our campsite and it was quite a walk up to the top of the hill but well worth it for the views when we got up there. Absolutely amazing. There's the cathedral. So we walked into Salisbury and this little area, this little green with the houses round, is just before you reach the cathedral. And I thought you might like to see the inside of one of our iconic telephone boxes back in the day. And this is the new Salisbury Cathedral which was built in 1330 and has the tallest spire in the UK at 123 metres. Time for a fish and chips supper in the most haunted pub in Britain, as we found out later. And I don't know if you can see them, but I can see little orbs floating around in the snug. And that in the corner is where the severed hand used to be, the mummified hand. I'm leaving a bit of history for you to go and check out in the description box. Woo! And check out above the fireplace. This is where we had our fish and chips. We drove to Devizes and past Stonehenge on the way, which was built from 3100 BC to 1600 BC. And those stones are 13 foot high and weigh 25 tonnes. Amazing feat of engineering in those days. So this was the reason for our visit to Devizes, to walk the Cairn Locks and these are the longest stretch of locks in the country. There are 29 of them and they rise 237 feet and that's in a distance of two miles and it does take them five or six hours to go all the way from one end of, to the other end of the locks. There are more further up, but this is just this stretch. We were so lucky that we caught these two barges coming through and we were allowed to film. So this is them reaching the top of the lock and they slowly come through. Top speed's about four miles an hour. So as you can see, it's quite a relaxing way to travel. You know, all the time in the world, sorry about my fingers. It was very cold and windy. <laughs> the collies don't care, they're having fun. So this red and white barge uh, was owned by a veteran and he's obviously decorated this lest we forget it's very poignant love all the poppies off they go that was the tea room we stopped there obviously for a nice cup of tea and they are going into the next lock. 
Usually barges only go through one at a time, but because this is such a long journey, I think, you know, it just made sense for them to go through at the same time. Watch out. Oops. <laughs> Tight squeeze. But they know they can fit. I'm sure they've done it before. So they go completely into the lock. And this is all hand powered. So it does take quite a long time. But it was a nice day, even if it was cold. <laughs> right, they're nearly in. And the guy on the left has to pull his little boat in. Oh, come on, you're going to get stuck outside the gate. Obviously he uses that if he needs to get across to the other side of the river. And come on, move the little boat, move the little boat. The locks are being closed by the people at the top who are pushing the gate shut, one on each side. And there's little ridges in the concrete for them to push against. So the lock shuts, the bilge waters come in from the other end and slowly the boat will rise up to the new level. As you can see, up they come. Having a nice chat on the way. I think there's a lot of chatting going on with the barge people. They all team, seem to know each other, which is lovely. What a nice community. Okay, so they're up at the level of the next bit and the gates are being opened and the barges can go out. Absolutely fascinating. I love it. I love watching these. And I didn't know if you guys in America had this. So I thought you might be interested just to see some real old barges going through some locks in Britain. There they go. And shutting the gate. so that the water can be released and the next boat can come up. I imagine in the summer when there's a boat waiting to come down that one would go down with it, but the, at the time there was no boats waiting. So yeah, physically shutting the gate just by pushing against it. And they have to do that 29 times to get to the top of the hill. I do hope you've enjoyed this guys.